Hello everyone, I'm Duke James. This is Fez 3.0. So I got a colony here, but it's not close enough. So I sent another expedition. Or I got a province, so I sent another expedition. Hopefully it's here, or here, or here. I think those are the only areas that would be close enough. If it's over here, then uh, rip me. But uh, instead of just sitting around waiting for that, I'm going to uh, try to conquer Sicily. So... We have more ships now. We have 19 heavies, which should be enough to defeat their ships, hopefully. I'm going to go ahead and do different wars, though. So I'm going to attack France in a trade dispute so that I can attack Aragon without France being called into that war. And then I can just white piece France, hopefully. And then I can attack Aragon by themselves and take Sicily. They are allied with the Commonwealth, so I think the Commonwealth has a lot of troops. Portugal, I'll have to move into Portugal. Let's see how this goes. Just try to quickly take out Portugal. I'm going to end up fighting all of the... Uh, All of the colonizing powers in north in the north mediterranean all for sicily let's go ahead and take out some of these ships one of our ships was lost Okay, I don't know where those were. Alright, we have 19 heavies, a flagship. We should win this. Yeah, they lost. Okay. That is the absolute devastation that f that uh, heavies bring. We. I don't know how long this battle was, but it was pretty quickly. They lost everything. We captured three ships. It's a uh, night and day between this and our last war. So when I, when I want to attack Aragon again, France won't be called in. Now, if I peace out France too quickly, I'm pretty sure France would be called in. So I have to try to keep France in the war. So I'm going to end up fighting the same countries, the same amount of troops. It should just be different wars, though. Where are these ships? Oh, you know what happened? Okay, so I had... An explorer exploring. The explorer died. Those ships were lost down there. Okay, that makes sense. It was uh, three light ships, I think. Let's see if Portugal just wants to leave. I'll just take them out so I can focus on taking out these troops. It was lost. Of course it was lost. Alright, so I'll probably send another expedition over there then. If that one fails... Then I hate everyone. And uh, my ships just destroy. I captured another seven ships. 
one ship less than half of those ships. I'm capturing too many ships. I'm just too powerful at this point. I'm just hoisting them by their own petard at this point. I'm using their ships against them. I'm using the stones to destroy the stones. Stack wiped France. Thanks for playing. I think actually piecing out France. Oh no, okay. So I could piece them out in uh, five actually. Because I don't want anything from them. I just gotta win a couple battles and then I have to attack Aragon and then I have to stay in that war for a while. Actually we're at max, so we should get ticking war score. Yeah, we should get ticking war score now. There's another 6,000 men dead. Just wondering if I should attack Aragon now. Can I make France actually not do anything with Aragon? Yeah, okay, so I could just make France not guarantee Aragon, and then I could just piece out France after. That's probably the way to do it. So I think that's what I'll do. They won't accept this for a little bit, so I just gotta wait and f win battles and get taken war score. Captured another two ships. Why not add them? My ships are really fast and really powerful. Another light ship and two transport ships. So, okay, before I attack, I guess it doesn't really matter. I was going to say before I attack Aragon, I was going to put troops on Sicily, but since I have naval superiority, I don't think it really matters all that much. There's a whole bunch of forts. I built a lot of forts, apparently. I'm building a fort there. I building a fort there. I built a fort here. And there. And then I think I've built a fort there and there. And a couple forts over here as well. Something like that. Let's get those ships. Alright, there's a couple of rebellions down here I'll take out. Alright, so they'll take care of them. There's France's troops. 
and the Commonwealths. That's a lot of troops. That's 50,000 troops. Alright. There's a lot more troops than I was expecting to be over there. Wow, they really don't want to give me a province there. That's... And now England has 2,000 troops over there. Alright, I'll go ahead and fight them, see if that works. France, I just want you... To not guarantee Aragon, it's simple. I always end up fighting in this one province, and it's not woods, and it's not hills. So it's a horrible province for me to fight in, and yet I continually do it. Alright, I'll take off the dead stacks, which is like half the army. Actually, I think I have to wait a couple months. Wow, we won, but we have no troops. I'm just gonna peace out England. This is this is just stupid at this point. They won't since I Alright. This is stupid. I lost a bunch of troops, so now they don't want to peace out and give me those two provinces that I want. Also, those guys are way up there. Alright, I'm gonna build a couple mercs. We still have ticking war score with France. I'm gonna send this one to Mexico because I just I want that. All right, I'm gonna give this one more time with Colombia. If it doesn't do it, then then I'm out. All right, this is Woods. There's, what, 18, 22,000-ish? Alright, we took out that little stack over there. Give me those troops. All 
Don't want to fight here. I don't want to fight here because they would just move troops. Yeah, there's also 23,000 troops over there. Alright, they would actually accept this. They just know their treaty with Aragon. That's all I want. And I guess some ducats. Sure, 165 ducats. Alright, I think my naval maintenance is a lot. 28 ducats for naval maintenance, because I'm over. I'm going to delete the galleys since I have heavies. And some uh, transport ships. So that frees up uh, seven ducats. There's some other rebels down south. I'll use these guys to take out that rebellion. The other guys can stay down there. Don't have enough troops to kill these guys. Take a claim on the Mamluks so I can take Cairo. Dead stacks stay here. I'll just use those guys to uh, take out those rebels. Alright, so now it's just Brittany, Castile, and Pisa. They're also heaping merchants on me. I put merchants... I put one here, here, and here. And then one here as well. They gave me four at the same time, so I'm just going to continue to... Uh, go to China with those merchants. Colonial Mexico, oh. Okay. Yeah, see, I did this... Uh, that is just beyond frustrating. Also, there's an angry mob in my province over here. So, France was able to do what I wanted to do that I didn't do because I wanted to take these. Oh, man. Alright, they might spawn Colombian imports then. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to do. And now England has 6,000 men over here. Are they just, I think they're just building troops over here. So I really don't want to send troops over, so... 
And France has a colonial nation. The entire point of this was to keep them from... Okay, now they send one. And it... No. Okay, well, you could actually take these then. Alright, they'll just give it to us, so... And, uh... I'll have them end their alliance with Galicia and give me more ups. Alright, so... I actually wanted to... I was sending the... Expeditions to Mexico, because I wanted to conquer Mexico this area before someone else did, so now France might do it, actually. So now I actually have to send troops over here to make sure that doesn't happen, and I have to start conquering. So my next expedition will be over here, and, uh... Of course, now I'm in a weird spot because I'm paying 51 ducats for colonial maintenance because I have to core these. So I might send my next expedition here, then, actually. Yeah, very, um... bad moves. I think I'm just trying to outsmart myself. Like, I should have just sent expeditions to Mexico, my original plan. Alright, I'm gonna knock out Castile really quickly. How's that province doing down there, actually? Alright, there are only a thousand people migrating out of this province now, and the natural change is down to 96. So they lost 20,000 after I took over, but they should stop migrating out. And uh, they don't make a whole lot of money, but that should hopefully improve. And I am coring it. Alright, I think this... Yeah, this spawned. So somebody has this. I assume France has it. I actually don't know where that is. Alright, I'm gonna send this back to Atlanta, Columbia. We're, we're forced to go there now. I'm gonna have these guys hunt enemy fleets in the Mediterranean. And, uh, take cores. Disowned relative and expansion of serfdom expired, so we can go ahead and do that. Disowned popular relative and... I want to say that there's more freedom. It didn't decrease, hopefully. There's actually no peasant freedom there. No peasant freedom there, either. Is peasant freedom even increasing at all? 
53.545. Alright, so I don't want to do that again, overlook tenant abuse, until I know that uh, peasant freedom is greater than the decrease. Go ahead and give these again. We can go to positive stability. Looks like there's some rebels. It's actually a lot of rebels. I also have no manpower. Their ships went into port. Oh, so this province was occupied. That's not great. I'll bring these guys over from here to there. I think I'm gonna have to actually take Toledo. There's another merchant. Hopefully that uh, expedition is successful because I'm paying a lot of money for colonies. You can't get rid of colonies that I know of. Unless there's some special way to do it, like you have to select the province or something. Alright, they will not peace out. Hmm. I've taken your capital. I'm gonna try to trap these guys, just split my forces in two. Should keep their ships in port. We have a new province. Hopefully. Hopefully that is enough to get a colony. It should be. It is actually not because... Well, it's right here in Curacao. The second one that we got is in Colonial Guyana. It's not in Colonial Colombia. So I'm going to have to send another expedition here. Alright, seventh time is the charm, right? These guys... One, one, seven, four thousand... The current ruler is at five, two, five. I'll make him a general. He's a three, one, three, one. Actually, I have a four, five, so... Probably not going to go well if I attack them. And I don't have much manpower to spare. All 
All right, Castile will peace out. They'll revoke some cores. That's good. Alright, I just want you to return all of those provinces to Sicily. Probably gonna have to take their capital. Alright, we're gonna go back to Atlantic Columbia. Hopefully we get one in that region, and then uh, I'll send one to Mexico. And then hopefully we can... Hopefully it's three provinces for colonial nations still. And then I'll go back to getting to China. Alright, they'll accept... That's fine, I want to go fight the Mamluks, so I'll just go ahead and accept that. And I really don't have much manpower, so... Bring these guys over here. Actually, I'll pick up these guys as well. We can start converting some of these provinces to our religion. And Granada would cost 488 dip to annex, so I might start annexing them. And that province converted to Sunni. Great, so we have a lot of colonies. <laughs> I'm gonna try to take back this fort. And this province over here. Canem Bornu wants to offer us an alliance. Do you have a lot of relate? Whoops, I have a lot of relation slots. I have three relation slots. Probably really probably release Leon. But that would still leave me with an extra two relation slots, so I could take an extra, could take an ally. Zanzibar, Egbar, Egba. The Timurids would ally me. If I want to conquer from India, an alliance with the Timurids probably wouldn't be bad. And then an alliance with Canem Bornu would keep me from getting aggressive expansion with them. So I think I'll ally both of those. And the Timurids. Okay, the Timurids only have 7,000 men. That is not a lot of men. That's a lot less than I thought that they would have. Now everybody just wants to ally me. Zanzibar is a four province country over here. No. But I do get uh, invade Sicily mission, so that gives 15 
Navy tradition, so I'll take that. And then Settle North America gives me a Conquistador with 80 tradition. And uh, Leeward and Windward gives 50 dip and Settler Chance plus 5% Global Settler Increase. And then speaking of which, I'm going to take the next Colonialism idea, which is uh, Settler Chance plus 25%, and the next one after that, which is Global Settler Increase plus 25, so that should speed up these colonies by a significant amount. I'll grab the next Grand Fleet idea, which is 10%, negative 10% Naval Maintenance modifier. So that'll help out a little bit with my Fleet Maintenance, which is a lot. This province over here does not have commerce, and I'm not sure I can... I don't think I would be able to give it commerce, but... Uh, let's see. There's no burgers in the province. Oh no, okay. Uh, there's commerce, so there should be a commerce industry there now, so I should start trading. That should be a trade sector. Hopefully. And then this province, it's commerce was 16 before. It's making 77 ducats from com from uh, trade and spending two ducats. So yeah, that's doing pretty good. This one is negative, negative 21 ducats, which is not good. It is the opposite of good. This one's negative 102 ducats. Interesting. Negative 11,588% profitability. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to uh, end this part, and uh, we took Sicily. It took a lot of men to do it, and we also took these from England. Um, that's costing a lot of ducats for these provinces as well. Hopefully we can get that colonial nation going. And uh, I'll attack the Mamluks in the next episode, and we can take hopefully Cairo, because I don't think it's, it shouldn't be that much aggressive expansion to take that. So uh, thank you for watching, and goodbye.